Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to the Mac on D on this Thursday, slightly cloudy morning. I'm with Marina. She's one of the artists who's exhibiting at the Pergola this summer. Hi, Marina. Hello, folks. Hi, <laughs> Tina. So this morning, we're just going to explain to people um, a little bit about your art. And uh, if you can talk us through your some of your favorite pieces, uh, how you got into uh, watercolors, that'll be wonderful. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. And I should maybe start with the fact that the art that you're going to see in a couple of minutes is also by Cathy van der Stel, my friend and colleague watercolorist. And she couldn't be here today. Yeah, it's so a shame she couldn't join us. Yes. But, um, I'm sure you'll point out which are yours and which are our Cathy's. Yes, I try not to forget. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope to see her here again yeah. anyway yeah. soon. Yeah. Well, about me, I'm a watercolorist since I was 18 years old when I went to art school and discovered it there. And I've always loved it. And like Cathy also, I've tried other stuff from time to time. But watercolors is what I always come back to because it's the beautiful poetic medium and also it's on paper, it's with very thin paint, and if you don't like it, you just tear it up and throw it away. So you're never, you know, frustrated about saying uh, goodbye to your artwork. And when it works out, it's always having an atmosphere that's really soft and beautiful. And that's exactly what we love. Exactly. Well, let's go and have a look at some of the art that you've done. I'm going to yeah. start with the, one of my favorites, which is the peppers. So let's uh, take a stroll on over. So there are two peppers here, one small one and a big one, and I think you're going to... I'm going to come in a bit to try and avoid yeah. the reflection. So it's in an antique frame, and you can see that from the glass, so it's very uh, uh, wobbly. But it is completely made in watercolors. It took me approximately two weeks of you know, severe painting to finish <laughs> this. Goodness. And the, the technical details that apart from the blue in the background, it's all done in red and green because red and green together give a very beautiful gray. And uh, yeah, well, for the rest, like Kathy, I'm also working with a small brush. And the thing about watercolors is the, that the white that you see in the highlights is the paper. So you don't use white in watercolors and it's all flowing and um, uh, That's giving an, an incredibly difficult thing to learn, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, a it's a difficult technique. It is difficult, but you know, after a few classes that Cathy and I happen to give in the hangar, mm. uh, you can do it. I think five classes, they're quite intense and with a book, but if you've done that, you're able to make beautiful things in watercolors. Wow. Of course, there's also drawing involved and stuff like that, but working with watercolors needs a little bit of education. It's not good the first time. Although some people are sometimes really lucky. So yeah, I tried it, <laughs> it recently. May work. I was not one of those people, I can tell you, and I certainly learned very quickly that you need to leave the white. That's yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite a difficult yeah. concept. White to exists in watercolors, but it's transparent, so you will never be able to actually make something white. You will have to leave it out. So you have to plan. Yes. That's the thing. Wow, you've clearly done a very good job with, the, with, with those. Let's have Thank a quick you. look at the smaller one as well. Yeah. Because uh, I'm going to see this one. I do apologize for the reflection, everybody. This is uh, it's, uh, it's the south of France. <laughs> it's a lot of There's so much sun. <laughs> we do. Yeah. OK, let's have a look at some of the um, other pieces. Yes, yeah, because there is. Uh, this is also very much about Cathy, who couldn't be here. And uh, her work and mine, we know each other for around 10 years now, uh, s began to be very similar. We chose the same subjects and we had the same style. People often couldn't tell our work apart. And in 10 years, we've kind of grown to do different things. Now, Cathy is very much into um, uh, texture. So she uses purest watercolor stuff, but also a bit of salt, with which she achieves really interesting textures in her watercolors. And watercolors normally are on paper and completely flat, but hers seem to move. And I do a similar thing, but only with watercolors. So I try to really achieve an effect of volume with just the paint. So that's super different. You will see that. So we have uh, two paintings here, one by Cathy and one by me. The lower one is by Cathy and it's the two chandeliers. One very, very popular and super beautiful painting by her. It is, honestly, as a non-artist, it's very hard to imagine that that is watercolor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can see it probably from the colors because the colors are slightly more poetic and soft than they would be when they were real, yes. when this was a photo 
the shadow would be the same, but lots of the other things would be brighter or, you know, harder. Mm. So yet again, the white that we're seeing on here is literally the spaces yeah. that have been left. Yeah. 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 There's not so much paint on watercolors, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning more every moment. <laughs> yeah. And this is, uh, I'm um, uh, putting stuff like this up for, you know, less than half the price that they normally are in galleries because they are actually studies for a big one that I'm going to do and it's called Letting Go. Oh, and this is what I mean when I tr try to achieve volume, I often use uh, textile and fabrics. And this is a hand in a very beautiful glove. I posed for it myself <laughs> with so a marble you, oh. <laughs> that it's, go it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, released okay. later, but not here. Okay. And yeah. I'm trying to achieve the tension of that. For sure. Now, you've mentioned the, these uh, paintings are all for sale. Yes, everything in here is for sale. Great. Of course, it is. We realize that it's a very good restaurant. People come here to eat, and we hope at least to be here to, you know, make them a little bit more happy, <coughs> even more happy, I would say. But they are for sale. We've priced them really well. Normally, they're at least twi twice as expensive. Okay, so, so they're going to be on the walls here for at least, yeah. well, at least until the end of the month, yeah. maybe even longer. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, if you're up here for lunch, don't hesitate to come and have a look. And yeah. See which is your favorite. If you'd like to meet with Marina or Kathy, we can give you a call. And uh, absolutely, if you're in the area, we'd love to. If you're in yes, the area, then, uh, sure. Come and speak to them. And um, we're not going to show everything, are we? So no. some of them will no, no, stay no, a no. surprise. We are, we are, <laughs> yes, we're just, just cherry picked a few <laughs> for everybody to have a quick look at with exactly. Marina this morning. Um, and on that point, let's yeah. let's move to the next one, which is yeah. another a one. Kathy one with real visible <laughs> texture. I'm not sure if you can get close <laughs> enough uh, get to it. Table. Yes. And again, I'm going to have to say, it's unbelievable the detail yeah. from all of the paintings yeah. here. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, we are actually seeing my favourites, which is a real pleasure. From yeah. And there. can I tell that she has uh, written the etiquette, uh, the the labels by hand. This is not traced or anything. It's really written by her. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I hope to have such a steady hand. Yeah. yeah <laughs> yes. Many people do that. Mm. Many people are jealous of Kathy, who's <laughs> a, a talent with the one hair brush. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now let's just quickly walk around this side here. So you can see where we're at. We're at the Pergola, which is uh, the Macaulay's poolside restaurant. It is open every day, uh, seven days a week. Uh, it's advised to, to phone ahead and book or book online. Um, but if you're in the area and you fancy coming up, uh, take a chance, just just come along. We'll do our best to always fit you in. Uh, you get to see Marina and Kathy's artwork while you're here. You also get to see the other art we have. We have a lot of art at the Macondi. We're kind of passionate about this area for that. Um, the colored paintings you can see on the wall, sorry, they're not actually paintings there. They're photos um, by Lionel at the Gallery Numerique, which is in the village of Mougin, so 10 minute walk up the hill, not even. Um, and of course, Marion Berkeley's beautiful dancer statue at the end. Uh, it's kind of iconic for the Macondi. So don't hesitate to come up. And with <laughs> Marion, I'm just going to show you one last thing. We have this um, panel here of cocktails, which corresponds perfectly with um, what we have going on this summer. We have a um, a cocktail bar by um, vodka, beluga vodka. So, <laughs> as if I knew. <laughs> as if you knew, yes. <laughs> Anticipation of that. So, and um, I understand you did these ones specifically yeah. for this exhibition. Yeah. yeah. I love doing that. I'm originally a monumental artist and the art that monumental artists make is meant to actually, you know, uh, line up the status of where they do it for, like a public space or a building. So that's what this well, is. Well, it's more perfect. or less. So uh, we've got some musical evenings coming up in the summer. The restaurant will open for dinner in June. So when uh, is your cocktail night, if I may ask? Oh, the, well, the cocktail bar will happen every Tuesday and Thursday from, oh, now you've got me on the spot. I've got the date. <laughs> I write it later in a comment yeah Facebook, don't worry we will get it out uh, there's uh, there's photos on instagram today from uh, beluga vodka um, which we have reposted because they're just stunning we're really excited to be working with them this summer uh, we're also doing something possibly with uh, p31 which is a green cocktail 
uh, it's like the green spritz. So would <laughs> would they like this. me to do one I, for uh, them? Absolutely, <laughs> think they will. Be. And so Katie, maybe a bottle. Uh, well, we've always got lots of bottles getting used ar around here. So yes, maybe that's something that we can uh, we can yes. work into it. We will yeah. definitely be giving okay. you the dates and uh, <laughs> a new project. So that's that's great. Um, if there's anybody who has any questions, um, they can comment on the bottom of this video. We can make sure that Marina and Kathy get your comments, get any questions you have, and uh, come up and see it. The best we have literally only shown you a couple of them. We love them. Thank you very much for letting us exhibit them here. And Pleased um, to do it. We we love the space actually, oh, that's and the happy <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> Great. Well, we'll put the music back on now. We're finishing yeah. the video. So, uh, but come up, everybody. Come and enjoy this wonderful art. And uh, Marina, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us this morning. Happy to. Thank you.